Imagine walking into a grand library filled with countless books containing the secrets of the world. Each book, a treasure trove of knowledge, revealing insights about our lives, our society, and our world. This is what economics is, a library of understanding that explains why and how we make decisions, why certain products cost more than others, and how nations thrive or falter. Welcome to your first step into this vast library. Welcome to Lim Lao Shi's economics channel, where we simplify complex economic concepts for everyone. Get ready to embark on this fascinating journey with me, your guide, Lim Lao Shi. Together, we will explore, learn, and unravel the mysteries that economics holds. Stay tuned. Welcome to Lim Lao Shi's economics channel, the place where complex economic concepts are simplified for everyone. I'm your host, Lim Lao Shi. A passionate economist with a knack for making the abstract tangible. Whether you're a student struggling with your economics coursework, or simply a curious mind seeking to understand the world, this channel is designed for you. Together, we'll uncover the mysteries of economics, from why diamonds are pricier than water, to how nations allocate their resources. So sit back, relax, and let's delve into the fascinating world of economics. Have you ever wondered why diamonds are so much more expensive than water, even though water is essential for life? Welcome to the intriguing world of economics, where the answers often lie in the details of scarcity, choice, and resource allocation. At the heart of economics is the concept of scarcity. Scarcity simply means that we have unlimited wants, but limited resources. Think of it like this. You only have 24 hours in a day, but there are so many things you want to do. Work, sleep, exercise, watch your favorite TV series, spend time with family and friends. Unfortunately, you can't do it all. You have to make choices and trade-offs. This is the essence of scarcity. Scarcity leads us to the next big concept, resource allocation. How do we decide who gets what and how much? This is where economic systems come into play. In a market economy, it's the forces of supply and demand that decide. If you've ever been in a bidding war on an online auction site, you've seen this in action. The highest bidder gets the item, reflecting their ability and willingness to pay more than others. But what about a centrally planned economy? Here, decisions about resource allocation are made by the government or a central authority. Imagine if your parents decided everything for you. What to eat, what to wear, Centrally planned economy. Another key concept in economics is the production possibilities curve, or PPC. The PPC shows the maximum combination of goods and services that can be produced using available resources. Picture a baker with a fixed amount of flour and sugar. The baker can make a certain number of cakes or cookies, but not an unlimited amount of both. The PPC represents these trade-offs and helps us understand the concept of opportunity cost. The cost of the next best alternative for gone. Next, we have comparative advantage and gains from trade. Comparative advantage is when a country or individual can produce a good or service at a lower opportunity cost than others. For example, if you're faster at typing than your friend, you have a comparative advantage in typing. This doesn't mean you're better at everything, just at typing. By focusing on what you're good at and trading with others, everyone can benefit. This is the principle behind international trade. Cost-benefit analysis is another important concept. It's about weighing the benefits of an action against its costs. If the benefits outweigh the costs, it's a good decision. If not, it's time to rethink. It's like deciding whether to buy a car or use public transportation. Finally, we have marginal analysis and consumer choice. Marginal analysis looks at the additional benefits or costs of a decision. If the marginal benefit of watching one more episode of your favorite show is greater than the marginal cost, like losing sleep, you'll probably watch it. This is how consumers make choices. To sum up, economics is about scarcity, choice, and resource allocation. We've explored economic systems, the production possibilities curve, comparative advantage and trade, cost-benefit analysis, and marginal analysis. Remember, economics is everywhere, in your daily decisions, in the market, and in the wider world. It's the study of how we navigate our world of unlimited wants and limited resources. So next time you're making a decision, think like an economist. 
it might just change the way you see the world.